yeah, when I joined the band, it was almost like a jam session. And I said, Art, you know, if you get a little order to what you're doing, you could become a millionaire. And when he heard the word millionaire, his eyes widened. And he said, what should I do? And I said, get a new band. That was terrible. <laughs> And then he said to me, tell them they're fired. I said, I can't do that. They don't, I'm just coming in. But eventually, uh, we got Lee Morgan, Bobby Timmons, and Jimmy Merritt. And then I said to him, Art, you're playing your drum solo at the end of the tune like every other drummer. You have to let the people know you're the leader. Do something out front. You know, like what you did with the Lonis Monk when you record a straight note change. It started with the drums. The right hand, the left hand, the left foot, the right foot. It gone at everybody's attention. You need something like that. And it was during the break between sets. And uh, we sat there and thought for it. And I said, but what could you do? What could you do? I said, you've done everything there is to do. And then a bizarre thought crossed my mind. And laughingly, I said, except play a march. And we both start to laugh. Oh, how ridiculous. <laughs> and then I stopped laughing. And he looked at me and said, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, I'm not talking about the typical military march. Have you ever heard that college in the South, that black college, Grambling? Have you ever heard them play marches? I said, their marches are dirty and greasy and funky. He says, oh, Gosen is not going to work. I tried to talk him into it, and he finally said, I don't want to do a march. The only time people play a march, yeah, maybe you'll hear it in the New Orleans when they're going to the cemetery. I don't want to be involved in it. I said, oh, please. He finally said yes, knowing that it wasn't going to work. And uh, I just moved to New York, and I had a room with my aunt. I told tell people I had a lavish apartment, but it was a room. And I bought an upright piano, an old upright piano. Now, I got it for $50 because whoever had it before, you know, it was black originally, but whoever had it before I got it, they were very creative and they were going to paint it a beautiful emerald green. And they started from the left and they got halfway across <laughs> and they got discouraged and they just left it on. <laughs> so when I got it, it was half green and half black. And I put this tune together, Blues March. Call the rehearsal and I said, Art, I want you to start off. He said, well, what do I do? I said, imitate the drum and bugle chord that used to come through the neighborhood. And when the bugles weren't playing, the bass drum, the snare drum, the cymbal were playing. So try to simulate something like that. He said, well, how long do, do I play? I said, play as long as you like. He said, well, how do you and Lee know when to come in? I said, play a roll off. And then he said, but what's a roll off? <laughs> I couldn't play the drum, so I had to do it with my mouth. I said, play. <laughs> he said, oh, Golson, it's not going to work. I said, well, Art, right, let's just try it. So, okay, we were working in Small's Paradise, uptown in Harlem. And you see, I like to talk. So I said to the audience, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear something that you would never expect to hear in a jazz group, a march, and blah, 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 blah. Well, there was no dancing in Small's because it was too small. They had a little set up table in front of each booth, uh, but no room for dancing. And he started off with the, the drums, and he played the, the roll off, and Lee and I started to play. Now when he first started to play, people were just sitting there like I'm sitting here now. And then he put a Bobby Blue Bland backbeat to it on two and four, and then people started, you saw the head. <laughs> And they got into it, Lee started to play, and then they started to snap their fingers. And then when we really got into it, I'll be darned, they got up and started dancing and knocking the drinks over on the floor. <laughs> and Art looked over at me, at me and said, while he was swinging, he said, I'll be there. <laughs> and he played Blues March right up till the time he died. It almost didn't happen. <laughs> 